happened so quickly between Emily and Zach, but Frank and I understood why as soon as we met him. Right away, we saw how he always put her knees first. And the flowers. <laughs> oh, Lord, the flowers. There were flowers everywhere, tons, tons, tons every day. But he seemed to only care about her happiness. The first time I made you watch the movie when Harry met Sally, I wanted you to watch it because of one line at the very end that sums up my feelings for you perfectly. Harry says, when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. At last, my love has come along. My lonely days are over And life is like a song At last Seems like both yesterday and a lifetime ago that you very smoothly danced into my life. I spent quite a bit of time learning what didn't, didn't make for the perfect partner, and I saw very quickly that you fit the bill better than anyone I could have hoped to meet. Even now, I notice little things that you do without any thought that prove to me over and over that you are the best part of my life. I found a dream that I can speak to, a dream that I can call my own. Honey, you are so beautiful. <laughs> Oh my, you look amazing. <laughs> You're the prettiest bride I've ever seen. I hope this is everything you've wanted. It is. It, I can tell, it's, it's everything that me and mom have hoped for you. It is. You smile, and then the spell was cast. And here we are in hell. The life we're building together now would not be possible without your love and support. Gladys Knight said, if anyone should ever write my life story, for whatever reason there might be, you'd be there. Between each line of pain and glory, because you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Thank you for always being there. We love you so much. Let's celebrate! Yeah! <laughs> Before you, I was lost. I had lost myself. I had lost my determination, my drive, my whimsy, my carefree self-expression, my unrelenting positivity, my joy. I was used to giving all of myself, but I wasn't used to my efforts being in futility. I had moments where I questioned if God was listening, but then he gave me a cue. In an instant, you made me feel loved valued, beautiful, safe, happy. The world was bright and colorful again. I was bright and colorful again. You know, if you wish hard enough, they'll all come true. My light had been dimmed for so long and you came in with a full tank of gasoline. You saved me. Emily starts her day with breakfast in bed, yogurt and raspberries, courtesy of Zach. He drives his passenger princess to her appointments, work, and girls' nights to ensure she gets there safe. If the trees need pruning, he breaks out the man tools and gets to work. It doesn't matter if it's an inconvenience, 
He sees it as an opportunity to spend time with her and make her happy. I will spend every waking minute trying to make you as happy as you've made me. It gives me so much joy to know that no matter where we end up or what we're doing, I will always have a home with you. Emily, most of you know that she is the most talented designer and artist I have ever met. Diane von Furstenberg handpicked this chick right here to be her designer up in New York City. And while she was crushing it in every single fashion week, yes, she had multiple pieces in New York Fashion Week, by the way, for those of you that don't know this, she's a badass. What a dress. <laughs> she's fabulous. I like your little tiara, too. Thank you. Does it hurt? Yes. Uh, okay. I figured. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> and when Zach came in the picture, we're all very protective because I was like, all right, this man better live up to the hype. He lived up to the hype so much that he showed up on their first date in a three-piece suit driving a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Neither of us knew that was weird. <laughs> Her loyalty is unparalleled and at times undeserved because it does not come from a feeling of obligation but a true appreciation for the people in her circle. Her greatest trait is her acceptance and love of people for who they truly are. The downside to this phenomenal trait of accepting and loving all of us weirdos as we are is that some people will take that for granted, but not Zach. And for that, I now love you. It seems that Emily and I were destined to have a tight bond from second one. But when she started college and she went 10 hours away where she knew nobody, that was when we really started relying on each other. She would call me several times a day and I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. And I started to depend on it. And then as a matter of fact, as the years have gone by, I've really felt more like she's been parenting me. She's just so staunchly loyal, not just to me, but her whole family, all her friends. She would always defend her brother and sister, even if it meant chasing someone down on her bike. <laughs> she always listens. She gives great advice. She always has time for me, and I love that. She never blows me off. She has time for me always. She's my ride or die even though she and I never mastered the high five. No, you cannot high five. <laughs> you never let me touch a single door handle. You always make sure I'm on the inside of the sidewalk. You're the most generous and thoughtful person I've ever met. You're always taking care of others almost never taking time to worry about yourself. But I promise to always worry about you and take care of you and be there when you need me. I can't wait to wake up every day knowing I'm not alone and that there is someone who will never leave my side. We've only just started what I know will be an incredible life and I'll never be able to express how good it feels to be doing it with you. I love you. Zach, we love you. You've been such a blessed addition 
to our lives, we are so thrilled that you met and that you love and cherish our daughter. It's all a father could ask for. But it's an added bonus. Not only do I gain a son-in-law I love, I get a tremendous car collection. <laughs> so it's pretty good to be the dad.